the increasingly weighty body of scholarly, legal and public opinion that has designated Israel to be perpetrating apartheid in the territories under its control is just such a development. A designation made by Palestinian scholars and institutes, later examined and endorsed by Israeli human rights organizations led by B'Tselem, has now become the legal designation made by Human Rights Watch and this year by Amnesty International. This is what a failure to generate accountability and to achieve two states looks like. As uncomfortable as I know it is for some, I urge this chamber not to underestimate the longer term significance and traction of what is happening. And it will come as little surprise if this echoes and resonates in parts of the world that have experienced apartheid and settler colonialism and that have gone through decolonization. It is a paradigm that will also bring the discrimination faced by Palestinians as citizens of Israel into sharper relief. It must be a wake-up call.